Good morning, good morning, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. How are all you precious people of God doing on this morning? This is Pastor Sean Bender with another morning prayer broadcast as we continue our series, Faith to Move Mountains. And, and on this morning, I'm going to teach about how to keep the faith God gave you. No matter what storms come against you, there is a secret, and once you apply it, you will never lose your faith in God. Are you ready to learn this on this morning? I can't wait to teach it to you, but you know we got to worship, and we are worshiping. We give you glory. Sing it. We give you glory, oh God. Sing, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, oh God. Sing hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, oh God. Come on, give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God. Come on and sing it with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God. Send your power. Send your power. Send your power. Send your power, oh God. Are you hungry for the power of God? Sing! Send your power. Send your power. Send your power, oh God. Come on and sing it to the Lord. Sing it! Send your power. Send your power. Send your power, oh God. Mighty God you are. Send your power, send your power, send your power, oh God. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, oh God. Come on, help me worship him. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, O oh Lord. Sing hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, O oh God. Sing it to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O oh God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover your precious people in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, let this world, let this word seal it in their spirits, God, that they do not have to lose the word of God if they apply themselves to what the Holy Ghost is revealing from the scriptures. Lord, use this teaching this morning to empower your people, to equip them to be able to resist the devil and make him flee. To give them victory in every area of their lives on this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Someone say a good amen. Good morning my precious brothers and sisters on this morning. I'm talking about how to keep the faith God gave you. Because you know... When, in the Bible, when it talks about the sower, and I will get into it later, you would notice that three types of people, the, the devil was able to come and steal the word out of their hearts. Three different things, well, actually it was four things happened, but only three of those attacks were successful. We notice the Bible says when the word is sown immediately, Satan came and stole the word out of their hearts. The second one, the Bible says, the, the, the deceitfulness of riches and the loss of other things and the cares of this world choked the word and made it unfruitful. Are you listening to me? 
And in the third one, the Bible says, people receive the word and rejoice and keep and hang on to it for a short while, but as soon as persecution arises for the word's sake, the Bible says they are offended and then they walk away from what they had just learned. But the fourth group of people kept the word and brought forth fruit, some 30, some 60, and some a hundredfold. But before I tell you what that key is, I've got to go to this other scripture and help you get this. Listen to this story that Jesus tells. This is a parable, a very powerful one. In the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27, and then I will come back and show you the biggest key, the biggest secret that you need to apply to your life and you will never lose the word of God no matter what storms come against you. Watch this. Jesus said, therefore, whosoever heard these words of mine, this is Matthew chapter seven, verses 24 through 27. Jesus said, therefore, whosoever heareth these words of mine, or these sayings of mine, watch this, and does them. The person who hears the word of God and then applies them to their daily lives, to their daily walk with God, to whatever situation it is they are facing, you automatically begin to practice what is taught. Listen to what Jesus said at the end of verse 24. I will liken them or him or her unto a wise man or woman which built their house on a rock. Watch this, verse 25. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. The rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat upon that house is symbolic to trials, tribulations, just difficult circumstances, attack from the enemy, attack from family, attack from church people, and attack from people on the job. Just these different tactics the enemy use to try to shake you up and cause you to turn the word of God loose. But look at what Jesus said at the end of verse 25. And it fell not. The house did not fall or the person did not give up their faith and turn their back on God. Why? For their faith was founded upon a rock. We know the rock is Jesus. But the key is in verse 24. Jesus said, whoever hears the words that I'm teaching and preaching, whoever hears these words, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, put them into practice. Faith without works is dead. You got to put it into practice. Jesus said, for everyone who hears these sayings, and puts them into practice is a wise man who built his house on the rock or build his house on life on a solid, unbreakable, unmovable foundation. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And guess what? The house could not fall. Their faith could not fail. Why? Because it was founded on the rock. That's the person who listens to the word and then applies it. Watch this. He has the, he has the reverse. He has the flip side of the coin. Jesus said in verse 26 and 27, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and does not do them shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house on the sand. The rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And guess what? It fell and great was the fall of it. Why? Because that person did not put into practice the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are listening to these teachings and you are not applying them, Jesus considers you a foolish man or a foolish woman. I remember preaching this message years ago when I passed it in. In Little Rock, Arkansas, listen, I preached this message. There was a couple who were having difficulty in their marriage. They came and I knew the Holy Spirit was warning these people through the word of God. They walked out of that service and did not apply the word of God to their marriage. And of course, 
their 15, 20 years worth of marriage, they ended in divorce. Why? Because they did not apply the word of God. Of course, there's forgiveness for people who suffered divorce. There's another chance, even if you divorce two or three times. We, we serve a merciful God. Listen, but if you want your marriage to work, if you want that business to work, if you want your prayer life to stay strong, if you want your ministry to stay strong, if you want your personal walk with God to stay strong, your relationship between you and your children, between you and your pastor, between you and church members, fellow employees, if you want to be able to survive whatever comes against you, you have to be a person who hears the word of God and then puts it into practice. Because the person who hears the word and puts it into practice, their faith stays intact. No matter what comes against you, you will not release your faith because you are not only a hearer, but you are also a doer or a practicer of the word of the living God. Are you listening to me? Now back to the parable in Matthew 13, Jesus said, the person who hears the word and it doesn't take root in their hearts, Satan comes and steal it. The second one is Jesus said, the loss of riches, the cares of this world and the loss of other things come and choke the word out of them. The third group of people who loses their faith is that group who rejoice when they receive the word, but does not allow the word of God to take root in their spirit and as soon as persecution arise for the sake of the word, guess what happens? They let the word go and they turn their backs and walk away from their relationship with the Lord Jesus. But here comes the group of people that brings forth fruit, some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. And this is the group of people who never let go of their faith. The devil can't make them let go of their faith. The winds and the storms can't make them let go of their faith. Guess what Jesus said about this group of people? Jesus said, he that received the word or the seed that was sown in the good ground is the person who hears the word of God and understands the word. Are you listening to me? That's the person who hears it and they understood it. How does a person get to understand the word of God? I'm glad you asked. That answer is in Psalms chapter 119 verses 130. Listen to what Jesus, listen to what the word of God says. The entrance, the entrance of thy words gives light. The entrance of thy word where? Into your spirit as you meditate on the word of the living God. The Holy Spirit takes that scripture and begins to illuminate it. It's not a one-time thing. You got to consistently read and study your Bible. Meditate on the word of God. And as you do, guess what? It may not happen immediately, but as you continue to be faithful to study the word and meditate on it, all of a sudden, Bam, the, words, the, the word of God enters into your spirit and it gives light. It gives understanding. And when the, when the word of God gives light and understanding because of the Holy Spirit at work in your life, now you know how to apply the word of God to your personal life, to your finances, to your marriage, to your relationships with other people, to your business, to your ministry. Are you listening to me? And when you apply the word of God, God, Jesus said this person is considered good ground because they heard the word, they understood it, and they brought forth fruit. Guess what? Some, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirty. And this person is the person who continues to produce and reproduce and produce and reproduce. And they just keep going through that cycle where they study and meditate on the word. The Holy Ghost gets the word down in their spirit, gives them light, gives them understanding, gives them comprehension, gives them wisdom, give them knowledge, show them how to apply it. This is the person that the devil is afraid of because nothing the devil throws at this person can bring them down because their life is built not on the sand, but on a solid rock, on a solid foundation, which is Christ Jesus himself. The Bible says the church is built on the on the gift of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief 
cornerstone. So as you hear the word, you got to apply it because as you apply, no matter what comes against you, heartache, sickness, pain, divorce, financial struggles, no matter what come against you, it will not be able to steal the word of God out of your hearts because you are a person who applies the word to your daily life. Somebody ought to give God the glory right now. We give you glory, my God. We give you glory. Sing it. We give you glory, oh God. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Sing it. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, oh God. Listen, join your faith with me. I want to pray for you. Father, I pray for every brother. I pray for every sister, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every child of God that's under the sound of my voice. I pray that the Holy Ghost, as they make time and make the effort to study the Word, I pray that the Holy Ghost would give them knowledge, give them wisdom, give them understanding, show them how to apply the Word of God to their lives. Open their minds. Let the word enter into their spirit, God. Let it give light. Let it give understanding. Let it give comprehension that even a child that's studying the word of God will come to the point where they know how to apply the word to their daily life. Jesus, you said, pray that, you, that God in heaven would give us our daily bread. Thy word, O oh Lord, have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Lord, we love you with all of our hearts. We honor you. We cherish your words. Bless your people. Give them a greater hunger for the word. The apostle Peter said, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow by it. Create that hunger in your people, that insatiable appetite for the word of God. Let your people consume it. Give them a hunger. I rebuke every distraction out of their lives. Everything that's coming at them to choke their time in the word. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Devil, loose them right now. Get out of their lives. I break that distraction that's hindering you from studying the word. In the name of Jesus. Listen, saints, we ask you to stand with us as we preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know we are not ashamed of the you know we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God, the salvation. The message of Christ is the only hope for the world. Without the message of Christ, everyone on this planet would be hopeless. But because of the gospel, there is hope. There is faith. My God, things are getting better. Are you listening to me? Things are getting better. All is well in the name of Jesus. I want to give you the opportunity right now to visit us online and sow a seed, show your support for this ministry, for this work of God. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give and sow a seed. Give a donation, give an offering to support the work of God that we are involved in. If you prefer to give through the ministry PayPal account, that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinderministries. If you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. Sing it. We give you glory. Sing it. We give you glory. Sing it. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, oh God. Listen, I've got some announcements here. I will be in Freeport, Bahamas, Sunday, November the 18th. That's in a few short weeks here. That's this year, 2018. I will be in Freeport, Bahamas. Sunday, November the 18th. I will be at Invaders for Christ Family Center with Bishop Clifton and Apostle Carolyn Cooper. That address is 61C for Bishop Drive in Freeport, Bahamas. 
I will be there for two services that day, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. I'm inviting all of you under the sound of my voice to join me, to be a part of that service and to get directions to the church. That phone number is 242-352-4787. 242 242- 352-4787. Also in December of this year, 2018, December the 8th and the 9th, I also will be coming to Nassau, Bahamas. That's Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church in Nassau, Bahamas with Pastor Joshua and Pastor Grace Eswego. The service times will be 6.30 p.m. nightly. That address is Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. That address is Sunrise Paradise, Farrington Road in Nassau, Bahamas. I will be there at Kingdom Ambassadors World Outreach Church December the 8th and the 9th. For directions to the church, you can call this phone number 242-356-6257. 242-356-6257. Five, seven. Listen, another announcement. I will be back in Freeport, Bahamas, March the 8th and the 9th of 2019. That's next year. March the 8th and the 9th of 2019. Listen, I will be at the Bahamas Union Teachers Hall. I will be there conducting a miracle crusade. I'm inviting all of you to be a part of that meeting. You know, God spoke to me last year and said, Son, fill your horn with oil and go back to Freeport, Bahamas and conduct a miracle crusade. I'm about to raise up a new generation. I'm about to anoint a new generation. Listen, the service times will be Friday night at 7 p.m., Saturday morning at 10 a.m., and Saturday night at 7 p.m. Save those dates. That's March the 8th and the 9th. You don't want to miss those meetings. I believe God's going to bless your life beyond measure. Also, I want to give you that invitation to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click below the video on the red and white subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on and every time we upload new videos or go live, which we do every Thursday night and Sunday night, but we upload daily. We upload videos daily. You will always receive those notifications for our morning prayer broadcast. Also, I want to give you an invitation to join our Facebook group. It's called I Believe in Miracles. Send us an invitation and we will be more than happy to accept you into our Facebook group. Listen here, saints. I'm looking forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning as I share 13 powerful scriptures about God's Word. I will share with you on tomorrow 13 powerful scriptures about God's Word. You don't want to miss that broadcast. And remember, Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you. We care about you. We are here for you. We are believing God with you for your miracle, for your breakthrough, and for your turnaround. To God be the glory. Love you guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.